The penultimate home match to the 2024 season is Wednesday. How do we stop Jose Martinez and CF Montreal in what is a certain six-pointer to stake a claim in the playoffs? We discuss next. What's going on, Fashar fam? I'm AJ, Atlanta United face CF Montreal 7.30 on October 2nd at the Benz. And yes, Atlanta United have it all to do. 11th place versus 10th place for CF Montreal. Uh, last match for CF Montreal, they won 3-0 versus San Jose Earthquakes. And our old friend Joseph Martinez scored a brace. And the previous match against CF Montreal, LA United, they lost 1-0 in Montreal on July 14th. So, yeah, the uh, the last six, six games uh, versus CF Montreal, uh, we've only won two, drawn one, and they have won three. So it is definitely a very tough match uh, as for LA United. Home matches have not been a guarantee, especially on a weekday. And especially now, Jose Martinez with the brace, he is in good form. We know what Jose Martinez is like when he scores recently. He usually scores in bunches. So, yeah, you know, San Jose Earthquakes, uh, definitely one of the worst sides in MLS. But LA United have to be very switched on and uh, very much uh, be able to kind of uh, make sure that uh, every attack that uh, CF Montreal has against us, we can shepherd them to the non-dangerous areas. But uh, yeah, the uh, you know one of the main things from uh, kind of this year and uh, where they are at, well, you know, Laurent Courtois, uh, he's their head coach. Uh, he's taken over from Arnon Losada and, of course, Wolfred Nancy, uh, who used to coach them. And, well, you know, this is a, uh, a team that is kind of uh, a little bit where they had the talent from Nancy's, uh, you know, kind of squad, but it still is where they're... A little bit two years older. There's some younger guys. Uh, the players that have moved on: uh, Zachary Brault, Guillard, Aaron Herrera, Romel Kioto. Uh, of course, Jose Martinez was a key signing for them in the offseason. Matias Cocaro, Raheem Edwards, Dominique Ienkov, and Ruan. Uh, all players that have uh, definitely kind of uh, made an impact in this season for them. But uh, yeah, Jose Martinez. Uh, has been in and out of their side. Uh, there has been moments where, uh, yeah, he has butt heads with Courtois. But, uh, yeah, you know, 10th in the Eastern Conference. They finished last year also in 10th. Uh, and, yeah, the as far as the pundits from the uh, kind of preseason, uh, they pontificated that they would finish uh, as low as 15th and as high as 9th. So very much, they're kind of where they uh, probably are out of a playoff spot, mostly, except for uh, one pundit. But yeah, it is very much so that, uh, you know, CF Montreal, they, they're a side that uh, they like to take some long shots, uh, they, which is definitely concerning, considering uh, Brad Guzan and uh, his weakness there. Uh, they attack through the middle. They attack through the, the right side. Uh, they uh, do like to possess the ball a little bit, but uh, they kind of play in their own half a little bit. Uh, and, yeah, they are a side that's uh, aerial-wise, uh, like dual-wise, are not that strong. Uh, so definitely, Stian Gregerson, Derek Williams are going to be relied on to be able to uh, not only stop them, but also attack them. Uh, they're not a great side at defending against shots from distance uh, and not a great side against uh, counterattacks nor through balls. Uh, so definitely something that we can get at them for. Uh, so, you know, the, uh, the match forecast 
according to who scored. Uh, thinks that LA United will score from a long shot. It's very, very likely uh, from a shot from distance. And uh, that LA United will create a lot of scoring chances. Uh, and, you know, hopefully that is the case. The problem is, for us... What I would like to see uh, us do is to very much finish off our chances. Uh, we really need the back line to be imperious against Jose Martinez if he starts. And we need that midfield to join in on the attack. We can't just have uh, the attacking players uh, doing all the work. And hopefully, uh, yeah, we can get inside the box at, at, uh, as well. But... Uh, yeah, we also should definitely uh, shoot from distance. So, you know, whomever, uh, whether it's Moranchuk, whether it's Saba, uh, definitely let it pop. Uh, but I think as well, uh, very key for us to keep a clean sheet here. But uh, yeah, let's get into the unavailable players. So uh, Shande Silva still out with a foot injury. Uh, Quentin Westberg, the third goalkeeper, still out with concussion protocol. It just seems like he's been yeah, under this concussion protocol for quite some time, but uh, thankfully we haven't needed him. So fingers crossed and uh, knock on wood. But uh, let's get into our pred predicted starting 11 then. So Brad Guzan between the sticks, that much is obvious. Lennon, Amador. Uh, are both uh, the fullbacks. I think we're going with the four-man back line here. Uh, even though they do play with two strikers, uh, it might behoove us to possibly play with three center backs, but we shall see. Uh, but I think, yeah, we're going to play with, uh, you know, kind of a four-man back line. Gregerson, Williams, the center back pair into midfield. That's probably where the rotation is going to happen. A lot more of the running is going to be uh, needed here. So, I think uh, Schlich will start uh, along with Muyamba, uh, but yeah, I could very easily see uh, Fortune and McCarty come on uh, pretty soon in the second half, uh, maybe 60 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, into the number 10 position, of course, Alexei Miranchuk, and then uh, onto the wings, probably the... Uh, you know, probably biggest question is uh, who's going to start besides Saba Lapsanitse? Uh, will it be Edwin Mascara? Will it be Tyler Wolf, who started over the weekend? Will it be Luke Brennan? I think we should give Luke Brennan a crack here and uh, kind of give him a little bit of a, uh, a run out where, yeah, we could really allow him to, to use his attacking ability to really be a danger and hopefully uh you know it can be the case but uh because yeah you know wolf i mean showed a little bit but uh, it was more on the defensive side uh edwin mascara he's probably best suited as more of the energy off the bench so i think uh it should persist that way but uh yeah and then up top daniel rios uh i mean i think you have uh, where uh, Jamal Tiare, he is coming back from his concussion protocol, but uh, it seems like, you know, maybe it's a little early for him, but I can see him starting over the weekend. But, uh, yeah, we will see. But, uh, yeah, according to who scored the odds for this match, uh, it is 63.7% uh, in favor of Atlanta at home. Uh, it is 22.2% for a draw and 21.1% for CF Montreal to uh, get a win. So, uh, yeah, definitely kind of favored more towards the home side. And, yeah, that gets us to our score prediction. And I think LA United will be able to pull out a win here 2-1. Uh, hopefully, Jose Martinez does not kill us uh, and get us, a, uh, you know, get a goal against us uh he obviously you know with his time against inner miami uh he was able to uh get some goals against us he is very familiar at home uh you know at the bends it will be very interesting to see what type of reception he gets uh i imagine a very good one but uh yeah 
it would be uh, very, very interesting to uh, to see what happens. But yeah, guys, that's our match preview. Let us know in the comments below what your predictions are. But guys, that is the match preview there and there. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I've been AJ. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, hey!